Hey YouTubers, this is Matt, and today I'm going to show you how to change your Windows 7 to look like XP. Okay, first of all, you're going to change your icons and your taskbar. In order to do this, you're going to right-click on the taskbar, you're going to go to Properties, and then you're going to click Use Small Icons, and then you're, click, you're going to go to the drop-down and click Never Combine. After that, hit Apply, and OK once that's done you're going to go to the link that I leave in the description and you're going to download the file it should give you a page that looks like this you're going to go down to the bottom and click the red download button you're going to type in whatever it has I'm typing with one hand sorry After that you hit enter and it will bring you to the please wait 30 seconds page and if, once the 30 seconds is up you'll get a green link that says the download is complete. You can click that or once it's done you can scroll down and click the download button that pops up right here on the bottom. Okay. After you have it downloaded you should save it to your desktop or wherever you want it's going to be in a RAR file so you need something like a WinRAR or 7-zip or extract it however you want you're going to right click and click extract to yada 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 okay go into that folder and then go into this one what you're going to want to do is you're going to go to theme patcher you're going to right click the one that goes with the bit operating system that you have minus 64 I'm going to right click and run as administrator. You're going to press OK and then yes. Yours is going to say which ones to patch. You're going to click patch and little pop-ups going to come up for each one. After that it's going to ask you to restart your computer. So once you have your computer restarted you're going to go into the Windows XP theme for 7. Okay and then you're going to go to start computer local disk you're going to go to windows and scroll down to resources and then you're going to click themes okay, what you're going to do is you're going to copy the Luna folder and Luna theme you're going to right click into the themes folder on your hard drive and click paste. That should be done. You can close that and close that. Okay, and then you're going to right click and then go to personalize. And the Luna theme should be here, right here. You're going to click it. It should change the theme to look like Windows XP. And now you can close that and you can go back to the folder that you extracted earlier. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to change the um, the start button with a start or changer. You're going to go into there and you're going to right click on Windows 7 start button changer version 2.6. You're going to run as administrator Do, 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 do. Okay. Once it comes up, you're going to click right here where it says select and change start button. It should pop up to the one that's already on the XP, but if it doesn't, you can go to wherever you have the folder save. Go to desktop, 7 to XP pack, and then go to start orb changer, and it's right there. You're going to click it and hit open. And it should restart your Explorer. And now your start button has changed. And so has this. Okay, now you're done with that. You can close that. And then you can go back to the folder. I should have left it open. <laughs> and then you're going to go to the XP logon screen. You're going to 
right click on Tweaks Logon and run as administrator. You're going to change the logon screen. You're going to go to where the, you have the folder saved. Again, for me, desktop, 7 to XP pack. And then you're going to go to XP logon screen and click on this one. You're going to press open. New logon background successfully installed. Sometimes you get another pop up, sometimes you don't. And then you're going to hit close. You're going to go back. Um, let me see. And that should pretty much do it. So you also have the option of changing the icon files and the sounds you can change to the original XP sounds. I'm not going to because that's a little different and I haven't really done it yet. So and there you have it. You have your Windows 7 to look like Windows XP. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.